Hello. Hi, Olivia. Hello. How are you both? Very well. good. How are Very you? Good. I'm great, thank you. It's lovely to talk to you both about Landscapers. I can't tell you how much I'm loving the series. I need episode four desperately. (laughs) I've seen three. I've seen three. Olivia's not even seen three. No, I've seen one and two. It's the best series I've seen all year. I'm loving it. That should just be, we should have that written behind us. (laughs) Put it on the poster. Good evening. Susan obviously finds a lot of comfort in escapism through film. I was wondering, what's your favourite piece of work of each other's? Your favourite film or series? Oh, oh well, I, I'll, I'll say favourite, but Ty- Tyrannosaur, um, oh. I really loved that Olivia did because I, I was actually on, on the Biffa jury um, the, the year that came out and, uh, and, and we voted um, Olivia Best Actress. My husband texted me to say, write some words down just in case. And I thought he was being stupid. <laughs> now I hate myself a little bit. We had a big discussion and then we voted in secret. But the conversation went round so much about Tyrannosaur and Olivia that by the time the last pair had spoken, we just went, well, should we call her now? <laughs> Give her the prize. Because oh. it was so apparent that everyone was going to vote for Olivia. And I think, I think that's the first time I also saw you in a real serious piece of drama as well. Uh, so, so, so that's my answer. That's oh, your answer. Thank you. <laughs> I was trying to think the Mike Lee film from ages ago, is it called Naked? Naked, yeah. I it's love out that. again, it's in cinemas again. Now. Is it? Yeah, cinemas? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just oh, been brilliant. Remastered. I think that was the first time I saw you yeah. and absolutely loved that. Every time a butterfly flaps its wings in Tokyo, this old granny in Salford gets a bilious attack. I only recently watched Seven Years in Tibet because we were talking about it. Oh, yes, And yes. my obsession oh, yeah, with, with that, Brad yeah. Pitt, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, that was brilliant. Yeah. Everything you've done is brilliant. Did you just say you've got an obsession with Brad Pitt, Olivia? Well, show me someone who hasn't. I accidentally met him at a party and, uh, <laughs> and he said, hi, big fan, which is just the polite thing to say. He probably didn't know who I was, but it's just a polite thing to say. But I, I couldn't form words. <laughs> and, I like, that's that. <laughs> and then just watched him slowly walk back into the crowd to try and get away from me. And then I was telling you that, and and then you said you'd shared a bunk bed with I him. I shared a bunk I, bed with him, and and so. uh, at one point, and one, we were left on a mountainside once as well, uh, and a helicopter dropped us onto a, ma- a mountainside in British Columbia, and then flew off over the <gasps> mountain, and then didn't come back for ages, and we thought it had probably crashed. And, and we were going to be left there, and we decided who was going to eat who. And we decided that Brad's buttocks would be a good place to start, with <laughs> more meat on them than mine. Oh, my God, I'm going to so, dream about this. <laughs> <laughs> and then the helicopter, thankfully, came back into view, and we were like, ooh, awkward. You know, since we'd already decided what we were going to start with. You know. This your signature? We'll come in. It's OK, Susan, you oh, can answer. Sorry, yes, that's my signature. The following is an account of the events as I recall them. We obviously see how Christopher's struggling in this and fails a job interview. Have either of you guys ever had an audition that's just gone completely wrong? I, I, I had a strange audition for uh, The Singing Detective uh, uh, many, 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 many years ago, where um, it's, 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 it's been maybe too long to go into what, it, what was strange, but it was very, very strange because at one point the, the director of... Uh, Threw the script at me. Um, <gasps> in an audition. Yeah, and it was very, it was very strange. And I, I, I should, I should uh, stress that later the, the director became a really good friend of mine, and uh, I got the part. It's incredible. But I walked out thinking um, uh, that was the worst audition I've ever done. It was one of my early ones. But um, he did. He didn't throw it at me in aggression. He just threw it in a kind of wacky way, like come on, try and get some spontaneity out of me. I think. Oh right. Okay. But, yeah. Not like not not violent. Yeah. yeah. I auditioned for Lambda, um, and. Uh, it was awful. I think I'd learnt my speech the day before, which is not what you're meant to do, mm. and uh, just couldn't remember it. And I was nervous and stood there and went, Fi, Fi. Uh, uh, sorry. And they went, It's okay. Take your time. Go again. And I think I tried to start it again four times and I only got Fi, Fi. And eventually we all agreed. <laughs> Maybe I should just, <laughs> Thank you very much. So sorry. And I left and obviously didn't get in. Um, but then I didn't really get in anywhere until. It's going all right, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's going all right. Who's laughing now, hey? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got into the old Vic because someone else dropped out, so which um, the secretary really enjoyed telling me. (laughs) Whatever it is, it'll be between us. Just you and me. Susan and Christopher have the most impressive memorabilia collection. I was wondering, what are some of the coolest mementos you guys have got from sets? 
I've got, I've got a sword from Kingdom of Heaven, oh, and um, I've, I've I've got I've actually got a, a ring, my my wedding ring from Harry Potter. It's the only thing I got from Harry Potter. We weren't allowed to keep anything, especially the ones we were they were taken off us oh. immediately. And I and I th there was two rings. They were doubles in case we lost one. So I managed to take one uh, and 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 keep it. And actually, when I got married five years ago i had the the ring uh copied in gold and that's 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 the ring i didn't now. know that story no, How no, lovely. i've never told anyone that story before oh. but fuck my wife obviously knows that but uh yeah i, I got the cause it was such a nice because it's a bit battered and and grungy looking so it's not sort of perfect but i kind of liked that so i had it copied in gold because it was silver that's yeah. very cool yeah. that's incredible nice how about how rubbish yeah, well, sure. <laughs> <Not that. laughs> i got i like she, she nicked a cup a cup and saucer or something <laughs> <laughs> um oh actually so my first day on the crown and there were the letters on the desk with my face on the stamp. Oh, really? And I went, oh, my God. And they went, you can't really take that book on. So yeah. they were really sweet. So, um, so I got one envelope, which is in a frame in our downstairs loo. Excellent. It was, imagine you a proper stamp. I'd just be taking everything from all the sets. They'd probably ban me. Yeah. Not officially allowed yeah. to. <laughs> Um, I love the way certain scenes are played out uh, from Susan's imagination as though like real life is a film. If you could splice yourself into any film, which one would it be? Oh, would you? I'd be Maria. Is that Julie Andrews? Yeah. We discussed this yesterday. He I, hasn't I, I've seen not, it. I've not seen uh, Sound of Music. I, but I only just discovered yesterday at lunch that there are Nazis in it. And uh, <laughs> I, did, I didn't know that she, she gave me a breakdown yesterday of Sound of Music. Um, I said, yeah. There's more to it than you think. It's, I am. I'm, I'm going to have to leave this Zoom call. I, know. I was yeah. asked around the table at lunch. <laughs> nice and forks dropped with what? But there's a very good reason for it, which I'm not going to go into because it's far too long. But I did explain why, and it goes, yes. it goes back to my childhood. It's very, very. It is a very funny very, story. Very, very, very long and complicated <laughs> emotional story. Um, 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 uh, the Dog Day Afternoon. I'd like to be Al Pacino in Dog Day Afternoon. Oh, that would be cool. I'd like to be in Thelma and Louise as well. Mm. Oh, we need that we need that reboot with you in it i could you be do. brad pitt in that. <gasps> yeah, yeah you totally could yeah, yeah. I, let's I, do I, that I, i've got a look okay this is happening now this is happening thank <laughs> you so much guys and huge congratulations on the series thank you, thank you very nice much nice to see you Take you care. too Bye -bye.